All right, after many months, this is his very first startup on this car of his B series, B18. Crank it over, see if we got spark and gas. Go for it, buddy. Oh my God, we got spark. Don't go too high. What's your oil pressure at? 80, 79. 80, 79? Hell yeah. Where's your light at? You ain't got the light hooked up for me. I gotta pause. I gotta pause this. Well, unfortunately, I had to put my camera down because I had to get inside the car while he did the timing because my 58-year-old cancer blind ass can't see the damn marks. They're not easy. So uh, Mike got it at, at, at uh, I held it at a thousand RPM and he set it at 16 degrees. So that's set. But what we got to set now is the um, the idle. Idle. Just gotta bring it's it up. It's not really put in a very convenient spot. This thing's not even warm. See the difference? My motor gets hot. Oh, I know this thing's still full. It ain't. Really this motor hot. gets cool, and we ran it for what? Like no, seven minutes. If that. If that. Now, my car over there, my built motor, I can't. There's no way I can touch my cap. It'll burn my damn hand. Okay, here we go. Get in there. Oh, oh, hey. Um, bro, you got a pair of pliers? Put them right there in. In that. No. I will. I will down. Well, I would. Can, can you get to the... Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's right here. What's that other screw? Dude, it's underneath. It's underneath. It's dicks. Why would it be underneath? That's handy. Either way, I want to run it real quick again and check the air fuels. Because I did not look at it at all. Oh, your AFR? <laughs> oh, you yeah. didn't? Okay, go, go ahead. Go ahead and get, I didn't look at it either. Yeah. Well, go ahead and get that in. That is holding. It's not leaking. Now, remember, hold it. Let it, uh, wait until, wait until the heater goes off and it says okay. Yeah. Is, he, is that dog going to follow her all the way to work? It's going to follow her down there. Oh, okay. All right, we're going to start it back up. Here, there it goes. Goes, here goes the dumb dog. Okay. Start it up. Let's check your ARS. We have a uh, um, a fuel tech uh, ARF meter in here. The sensor, everything is all hooked up, but it's in lambda, so I don't know what it's gonna do. Go. go ahead, start up. Boy, it starts hard, don't it? I got the same oh, right Get this thing out of my fucking face. He's got uh he's got VTEC lock on this motor. The VTEC is locked out. So let me get this up here. Thermostat hasn't opened. So now I just guess the way to the thermostat with the tub. That's the VMS gears. Um, what cams we have in it? We don't know. We didn't even dial the cams in. We just uh, we just got the two biggest cams we could find and threw them in. So it's, it's got a little bit of love to it.
should have put your regular cap on, then you could have drove around and got a warrant. Well, how long have we been working on this? Three plus. Years? We've been on this car for three years? I've been taking my time. Look Doing at it. it right. Doing it right. I didn't think it was that long. I thought it was like a year. Warm oil pressure 28. What is it? 28. Oil pressure is at 28. At 1,000 RPM. Oh, if that was rev it up, what's it go do? Uh, it's 48 now and 1500. Oh, cool. Okay, that's good. Yeah, he's gonna have to get the uh, gonna have to get the cams. Uh, um, yeah, what's that called? Mikey, what's that called when they dial your cams in? Oh, uh, shit. We're both brain dead. That thing, yeah. That what's thing. it called? I don't know. You I know, forgot. they put the big wheel on it and they dial your cams in. That's really crazy that neither one of us, somebody in the comments will put it in. So it's running pretty I good. I set the valve last. It took me three days because I did it 12 times to get it right. And there's this ECU. It's got a, it's got a chip in it that you got to burn if you want to change it. Is that thing open yet? Just Jesus. I'm you got a burner. Where's the tip at? It's, it hasn't moved. It should be open. Maybe it was. Maybe it's full. No, come here. Never mind. Stay there. Okay. Well, this just come crashing down got all over the floor but uh, it looks like the thermostat is open now yeah tell Mike it's going down slowly but it's going down oh you need your battery all right so tell him we gotta lock it up now we'll finish it up tonight All right, Mikey, give it a break. Give her a battery. That's it. Now, we actually have one battery we got to share. Lexi's got to go to work. That's his girl. And we're, we got to get a battery for this today. We bought the battery. <laughs> See the hood out there open? The green car? <laughs> yeah. Take the uh, right, um, take negative off first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Negative positive, positive, negative. Yeah. That's it. Let me look around here. Damn, it sounds really good, Mike. Oh, it sounds great. Sounds... Yeah, just let it sit. Let it cool. When it, when it, uh, it'll suck it in when it uh, cools off. Yeah, yeah, because it doesn't expand. It starts to, it retreats. Was oh, that low again? It was, it's right, right in here now. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I had it filled up to here. Oh, okay. Yeah, it went down. Yep. All right. And after you run it for a while, we're gonna check for wet plugs because that one, that one friggin' ARP didn't fucking feel right. I'll tell you right where it is. It's right there. That ARP did not feel right to me when I put it in. I hope to, if it doesn't, you know what we're gonna do? Hmm. We're gonna get a chromatic. We're pulling the head off. We're putting the chromatic in. Put it right back together. Yep. No waiting. And plus, chromatic is made for LSV tech. Everything lines up perfect. Yeah, the can was smoking a little bit. What was? Uh, oh, was it a little bit, little bit come past it? Yeah, it was smoking the same time the exhaust was. Oh, no shit. And then now it's gone. Done. Cool. There it is, man. It's it together. Is. Sounds good. We got two pieces of shit running now. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Yours sounds way better than mine, though. That's because it's, <laughs> it's always a beat back. Mine's never been tuned. Well, mine hasn't been tuned. Yeah, but, but I, I like mean, the it's, it's they had in it is better for this setup. Oh yeah, I think it is too. It's right at eleven and twelve. On yeah, idle. that's way better. That's. I mean, it's still rich on idle. That's not bad. If you if you boost it, that's gonna drop. Yep. So I mean, uh, it's gonna go uh, twelve, it's probably gonna four. A it's gonna I mean, go it's to about fifteen at the most on idle. No, fourteen point seven. Yeah. When I mean, you're on it, yeah. Going at idle. Yeah. So my uh, my uh, um, I told you I was gonna give you guys an update um, on my sister's truck. I finally got her uh, um, 
her water pump. I got her water pump done, and uh, she's on the road. She's done, and uh, I had a couple lines break, and I had to replace them. Uh, you know, the small lines on the 5.0 that come into here, and there's one over there. Well, they just they just snapped right off, and I had to go get new ones. And uh, one I made was easy. So uh, don't forget to tighten down your screws. Tighten down your screws on your alternator. Yeah, just just snug them. That's it. That's all you need to do. That right there, you guys know what that is. That's my uh, that's my splitter from uh, from uh, um, Death Sport, and uh, he said uh, two to three weeks delivery. That thing came in a week. One week. One week. It was here. He just knocked it out, dude. And uh, because it's so hot in this garage, check out what I got here. See that fan? <laughs> I run that in there all, all day, all night to keep the air moving inside my car. This is my uh, um, my lower. Um, I call it a uh, spoiler. My lower spoiler. You can see the three holes that I put right here. The one there. There's one in the middle. That's ready to bolt on. I got to get the splitter set. I got to put the bumper on. Then I got to bolt. You can see the three holes here too. There's one there, one there, one there. And I got to bolt this on. Then I got to bring the splitter up to it all to get it all level. And then I got 16 screws. I got to go around to uh, um, to put it together. But here's what. Here is the trick that we had to do, and I'll tell you why. I'll explain this to you. You guys will may you may or may not want to do it this way. I, I don't know. It's up to you. I guess it's optional. But the traction. I'm trying to kneel down. I'm broken. Give me a minute. Okay. All right. You see the traction bar is, is, is right here. Okay. I didn't want to jam this in between my traction bar, and it would also limit how high I could actually put my my dead sport dealy here, you know? And uh, I think, yeah, I got these. See how it moves now? See how it moves up? It moves up. Get it up. There it is. But the problem that you're going to have is this, this, you see this lip right here? Let me have my finger out of the way. There's a lip right here. So when you have this bolted right up against that, I drilled my screws all the way through. All the way through, and I got big long studs about that long. And now my uh, my uh, traction bar can sit all by itself without any interference or having this crammed in between it because I don't think that's okay. Now look at the quarter inch plates. See the quarter inch plates? That's quarter inch aluminum. I made that spacer to get past that. Okay, that's why now it can slide up and I can adjust this however high I want. Before I couldn't do that, you know. I just there's it's just a no go. So now I can put my my splitter on here and uh, and adjust this wherever I want it. Tighten those up, and that's a done deal. So, hey, Kelly. That's cute. Who's that? <laughs> what is cute? Oh yeah, my Why helmet. You yeah, well, it's because I keep hitting my head on that. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't it. stop. So yeah, I wear a helmet in the shop now. See, that? that's because I cannot walk under that lift without hitting my head. I got like 12 cuts in my brain because of doing that. I cannot remember to duck because I'm retarded. I'm handicapped, seriously. What are you looking for? A lighter. There ain't no lighter. Oh, why? What do you want it for? I like my cigarette. Oh, it's in the top drawer of the red toolbox. Way over there on the left. That's my sister. There she goes. <laughs> so anyways, that's how that's how I did that. And I'm very much more pleased with the way that it is. Other side, same thing. Luminous space, see the luminous spacers in there? And I got this one. I got, wait a minute. There you go. It's, it's in the drawer. It's hard to see, Kelly. It's not one of the long, thin ones. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Will you please put it back when you're done? Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, so anyways, yeah. Now this one here, same thing. It misses by about quite a bit, eighth inch. 
and it slides up and down. The splitter, I can't wait to show you the splitter. The splitter is, uh, is a full lamination. It looks like it's got, it looks like Formica. I know it's not Formica. And it looks like it has Lexan in between and then another piece of aluminum with shiny black Formica. It's uh, ACM they called it. You can see it online. But um, you can actually buy it and cut it out yourself. But I bought it from DevSport, cut out because he's got, you know, either he's got a water jet or something that cuts it out absolutely just perfect. Incredibly beautiful. So I said, you know what? I'm not going to do it myself. I'm going to, um, I just wish I had some light in here, but you can't see it. It's in there. It's right there. You can kind of see it. But yeah, I'm excited to get it on. I'm excited to get it on. I'm excited to get this piece put on here, get the front end on. I'm not going to do the headlights right now because it all has to come off. Once that splitter is on, it hangs down so far, I can't make it, I can't make it out this garage step. I can't go over the I can't go over these things. And I definitely can't. Those are what I usually drive down. There's no way. I'd I'd rip the I'd rip the splitter right off. It's uh it's it's a low boy, that's for sure. And uh, but uh anyways we got we got Mikey running. I can't believe how quick that fired up. Dude, it immediately it just kicked. Your shit don't like the store. By the way. <laughs> no, mine, mine's a pain in the ass. Until like, it gets tuned, it ain't going to want to start. Yeah. It ain't going to want to run. Because this tune is super close to what I really need. Yeah, it was, ar way it was already around. Mine's whack, dude. It's terrible. It'll get down there. So, yeah, it will. Um, I still got my tuner waiting on me. Uh, I'm going to call Pellegrini to see if, uh, um, if I can... if they'll let my tuner use their dyno because... They're only 33 miles from me, and I'm really hoping that Pellegrini will uh, um, uh -uh, come here. will will contribute. Yeah. Hopefully, I'm hoping. Anyways, I'm having a hard time getting this on. Why? 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 Oh, it's caught up there. That's why. Okay, there we go. Okay. All right. And I keep it covered up because I don't like any crap getting on my car. But anyways. Uh, We'll get this front end on. I'll make sure that I share that with you when I get the front end on. It's going to look amazing. Wait until, you, wait until you see this footer out of the box. It's just incredible. Come with all the hardware, too. It's just, just really nice. I had to buy uh, hardware for, for this mounting up here and mounting this. I got 16 screws. This flat spot right here will have 16 screws all the way across with a thick thin, thin with, with wow. thick fender washers so it doesn't distort this against the splitter and uh, I got like one shot to drill everything right uh, if I don't do it right I'm kind of I'm in bad shape so um, I take my time it's been five and a half years if it took me six years to get this split around so be it so anyways I'm not in a rush and I'm not gonna screw up my car so a patient man I am, even though I got terminal cancer, which is endocrine carcinoma with lymphoma, um, I'm going to take my time. Uh, no, I'm not going to wreck it. If I die in the process, so be it. But it's going to be perfect. And uh, something that really, really is really, really, really bad. There is three really bad gouges right here. You can't see them, really, here without light. But when I lowered the lift, when I lowered that lift, I didn't know I had the, the things that hang out that we drive on. I had them standing straight up, leaning up against the lift. And they drove right up into my rear bumper and scratched the, the hell out of my paint. So I'm going to have to block that with like some 2000. Lightly missed it with my red. Wait, I'm going to clear it. Got to buff it all in. It'll be all right. But that will be fixed. So... And uh, I often wondered about these little spots right here. I was like, what's that from? I asked Jeff. He's, oh, that's where I hung it. I said, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> it's on both sides, I do believe. Let me check. Yeah, it's right there, too. Yeah, it's got the gray spot. That's where he hung it. So, cool. Okay, I guess that's it. 19-minute um, video. That's long enough. 20 minutes is, you know, I try to keep it no more than 20 minutes. But uh, almost done. 
Okay, love you guys. Talk to you later. Comment down below. And I'm trying to get done, trying to get a tune, trying to get on the road so we can do some pulls. I'll talk to you then.